At the end of this season, when they raise the banners for next year, it's going to read the 22-23 Panthers. Not only did we win three games in a row once, but there was actually a three-game stretch where we had all of our players. Mind-numbingly agrifrustrated. You ready? Here we go. Get it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go. Fans, oh boy, I have I, 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 no guarantees, no predictions, no nuance, no, no nothing, no idea of what's going to happen at the end of this video either way. Now, we need to win. That goes without saying. A loss may as well mathematically eliminate us considering who we're playing and I don't think we could come back from a loss from tonight so we're going to have to win tonight we're going to have to win tomorrow because the Pittsburgh Penguins ain't gonna help us out any that's for damn sure so the debate whether Bob or Lyon should get this start has been solved in the most perfectly Panthers way because what coach Maurice has decided to do is do much like the Penguins and Islanders last night was the worst possible result, Maurice has taken the worst possible approach. They are considering the possibility that Lyon would have to play one of the games. But instead of just playing him tonight against the Blackhawks, we're going to throw Bob out there, and who plays tomorrow is going to depend on Bob's workload. So if you were going to take the risk at all that Lyon was going to play a game, if you don't think you can beat the Blackhawks tonight with Alex Lyon and Nett, so I expect this to be um, Paul Maurice playoff hockey. I expect it to be extraordinarily tight, hard checking. They're going to have six defensemen on the ice at all times. And they're going to attempt to win this game without Duke, by the way. They're going to attempt to win this game with as minimal of effort as possible and just play a shutdown defense. We might just bring out the trap. We might just bring out the New Jersey Devil trap. And because otherwise, if you let Bob go out there and have to face 40 shots and he has to play a third period, anything like the last third period, he's going to be kind of tired tomorrow when we play the Jets, an actual good team who kind of usually has our numbers. So, I'm sure Maurice asked Bob, and Bob said, I'm good. Of course he's going to say he's good. Hindsight, no matter what we do, if we lose this game, or we lose tomorrow. That's that's my concern, is we win tonight, put Bob out there again tomorrow, and then what if we lose? We can't lose. We've got 17 games left, and they're realistic. To be real, not talking about what record I think we're going to have, but looking at the standings, I don't know if going 13-4 and four gets us in. I don't know. Because as you saw last night, when I've been talking about on the podcast for weeks, yeah, we're two points, four points behind these teams, but they're all playing each other every friggin' night. So, and Duke is sick. Duke is sick. So what was he? He was in, he was, he was, uh, what did we get? Four games? I think it was four games. How many games did we get with Duke, Barkoff, and Bennett all on the ice? Was it three? I don't think so. I think it was only two. He brings a completely different element to the team. We already know this. We've talked about it. So I expect tonight to look much like the rest of the season before Duke. I expect a lot of dump and chase. 
I don't know. I didn't look to see what they're going to do with the lines, but Duke being out just screws up the entire thing because then you can't run everybody in the position that they should be in. So, if you can't tell, I'm not real. I'm a little bit concerned about this one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm really worried about this game. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. Well, I guess part of it is because we have to do that thing where we win the three in a row. But, I don't know. I just don't have a good feeling about this game. So, I'm not going to make a score prediction. We'll see what happens. Uh, last thing before I cut out. I have not forgotten about the giveaway um, for the Manscaped Weed Whacker. I haven't forgotten about it. I just got a little bit slammed this week. A little bit extra busy. So, um... The video did get 100 likes. I'm going to run that contest tomorrow. I'll put it up. I'll put a little uh, short video out. I'm going to post it to the community post, uh, to the community board, and uh, I'll give that sucker away. All right. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel good about this game. I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. But if there was ever a game that would be the poster child for why this team would not make the playoffs, this would be it. Told you. Uh, in this moment, I don't know what to say. I'm going to save it for the post game because. Maybe, maybe, but this game is an awful lot closer to 4 nothing than it is 2-2. Two, two. While I'm not even a little bit surprised, I'm shocked. One thing I am shocked at is this team's ability to consistently make the same mistakes, and when they play poorly play poorly in the same exact manner every time. It is a skill that this team has. Maybe I'll be back screaming two points or maybe I'll just be back screaming. We are going to overtime! Well... <laughs> If you had told me, I'm going to explain, just, if you had told me that in March I would be experimenting with different variations of a rally cap so that we could come back against the Blackhawks to save our season, I would have slapped you upside the head and told you to shave your ass. Okay, but here I am, here I am, now this is, this is a very intricate, this is, now first I tried it with just the hat, and then the scarf, and I had the scarf tied, that didn't work, so a commercial came, and I took off the hat, and I got the it hat, see I got the little beanie, I got the beanie there, so I got the it beanie on, then I got the scarf on top of that, then you put this hat on, okay, and then, you know, I just got the little, the little tassels just hanging there, okay, and I'm allowed to do that because I'm quarter Jewish, so I'm okay, ha, huh? Stu's, Stu's laughing now, so I'm allowed to do this, two goals in 30 seconds after I put this on, two goals in 30 seconds and then we scored again, now we almost screwed it up, we almost screwed it up there in the end, but, but, it's...
The other thing, the other thing is I should, I, my, the magic still works, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're new to the channel, you don't understand what I'm talking about. If you've been around, you do. Halfway, before the end of the second period, this is true, you can go to look, go look on Twitter. Before the end of the second period, I did what I do. I did the thing that I do. I rarely tweet anymore. But the only thing I said was Matthew Kachuk has one goal in the last 12 games. Now, a few years ago, this is a true story. A few years ago, after the second period, I bitched and complained about Ekblad on Twitter and said a bunch of guff. And he liked the tweet during the intermission and went out and got two goals in the third period and won the game. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, except for that time he liked the tweet. So maybe it wasn't. But tonight, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. The point is, is that now I can't take it off, at least for the recap, right? I can't take it off, but it's a rally cap. So next time... If we get two goals down, I'm not going to do it at one goal unless it's a season-ending type of thing. But two goals or more, I think we've got something that works here. Now, I was ready to fire Maurice, and I'm not necessarily ready to keep Maurice either. But it shouldn't have been this hard, number one. Number two, how... How can one guy make such a big difference to the team and how they look? The difference between this team with Duclair and without Duclair is... I've never seen anything like it in sport that I can think of. I mean, it's one thing if an NFL team loses their quarterback and you know things are not going to be right and there's going to be adjustments and everything. But the entire demeanor and attitude of this team without Duke is just so significantly different. It's not the same team without Duke. He's sick. Hopefully he comes back tomorrow and we're good to go because we're going to need him because these guys expended a lot of energy in that third period, which is not good, and we got to play Winnipeg tomorrow, and Winnipeg's a good, quick team. we got to work it out for us. Now, in terms of the goaltending, talked about it a little bit at the end of the stream, if I was going to roll the dice, if Bob says he feels good, roll. This, just go. If Bob says I'm good, he goes. Okay? Hopefully you can trust Bob to be honest and say I'm too tired. Maybe not. But I, I, would, I would say 95% chance that he's going to go. He didn't face a ton of shots, even though the game went to overtime and he had to make some crazy good saves there in the third period that was my concern but i suspect he'll be in now brandon freaking montour on the ice in overtime like he belongs that's not a criticism and i mean <laughs> he no look backwards through Mrazek's legs, you couldn't do that again in a hundred tries if you tried. If You know what I'm saying. I, I can't believe it. Like, I didn't even realize he hit the puck because it wasn't a natural position. And then I just see Mrazek hanging his head and everybody's going screaming. And we got two points and we won the game. So... Whatever happened, no, 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 look, there's, there's always the possibility of this team does what I said they were going to do, which is get better as the season going on, make playoffs, and win the cup. We're going to take that possibility, put it over here with the Manscaped Lawn Weed Whacker. Code's flying fluffy, okay? Get 20% off free shipping. So we're going to put that theory over here. If this team doesn't make the playoffs... I know we're not going to fire Maurice. I know Zito did his thing and said he believes. I understand that. But a couple of things. Even for those of you who support Maurice. Dude, you, you, there's not a lot of cup teams that are the most penalized team in the NHL that win cups. You got to stop. Another bench minor in the third period tonight 
with too many men on the ice. Okay? Come on. All right? The sticking penalties with just way, way, way too many penalties. Now, the other thing is, is coming out and playing a full, complete, hard-nosed game three games in a row. They pulled this off. But that's all they did. The first period was one of the worst periods we've seen all year. The second period was like, okay, we're getting kind of settled in. I guess we're going to have to play. And the second half of the third period looked like it should have looked to start the game. Now, now why? Why are they looking like this? Okay? This is something that this staff needs to figure out. They need to be, you know, I, I see a lot, of, and I get to want to have the positive attitude. I get them wanting to be positive. Same for Maurice or Zito. I get that. But behind closed doors, they better be sitting around trying to figure out, okay, how can we fix this? How can we fix this? How can we fix this? Because this team has some problems that they're not publicly admitting so I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about how those things are going to be handled. And we'll leave it at that for now. Now, in terms of what this means for the season, the season goes on. We're two points out of a playoff spot again. Yeah, you got the games in hand and the juggling and, and all of that. Now, the Pittsburgh thing, I've talked a lot about it this on, on the podcast. The Pittsburgh thing, I was really hoping, obviously, last night that that Pittsburgh would just win and they could go and take the seven seed and we'd be trying to take the Islanders. Didn't happen. Now, the other thing here, not that I really expect this to happen, but anything can happen. And I don't know if it's this week or next week. But there's a space of about seven or eight days in which the Penguins play the Rangers three times. Three times. And they can actually technically catch the Rangers for the third seed in the division. So there's still a lot at play here. Now, I don't think we're going to catch the seventh seed, but I mean, if the right things happen, you don't know. We still got to work on catching the eighth seed. But we could, the point that I'm making is we could get to the end of the season, last seven games, and we could be looking at l hoping the Rangers lose games, thinking we could catch them. Again, I'm not so sure that that's going to happen, but they play head to head three times. If Pittsburgh wins all three in regulation, which is probably not likely but if they did they would catch the rangers and be in that seed so there's a lot here at play we already know the buffalo thing and that's the thing people everybody's playing each other so we escape tonight still alive now tomorrow it's back to back we're at home what have we not done all year long we have not won four straight we knew that at some point during the season, if you're going to make the playoffs, I'm sure there's a statistic somewhere where no team has ever made the playoffs that didn't at least have a four-game winning streak. Now, it's mathematically possible to make the playoffs if you only had three-game winning streaks. That's possible. Win three, lose one. Win three, lose. You know, you're, you're going to win a lot of games. But I'm sure that somewhere... In one of the stat books, there's a record for no team has ever made the playoffs that didn't win four straight. I can't imagine a team has actually ever made the playoffs without winning four straight. We're not going to get another opportunity, okay, if we don't win this game tomorrow. Winnipeg is a team, really in Winnipeg they have our number. But it, we, we, there tends to be a lot of high-scoring open ice things against the Jets. I'm concerned about that with Bob already playing today. That's part of the reason why I wanted Lyon to play tonight. But I don't think we win this game with Lyon playing tonight. So we're just going to have to gut it out. We dug ourselves a hole. We really dug ourselves a hole. Not the first 20, but games 20 through 40. 
we really dug ourselves a hole. Now, I don't know if they can pull out, but 16 games left. I don't know if 12 and 4 makes it. I don't know if 12 and 4 makes it. There's games in hand issues. Serious games in hand issues. You know, with the it's, you can go 12 and 4, but what the record, you know, the other teams would have to have for that for us to catch them four might be pushing it. So the point is, is we're not making the playoffs if we won't. If we, we have to win tomorrow. We are nowhere near any situation where we can like, well, that's a game we can afford to lose. We really don't have any of those games, but certainly not tomorrow. Because what's going to happen after tomorrow is we've got four days off. And the Islanders, I believe it's the Islanders, I'm pretty sure it is. The Islanders, I'm sure other teams... But while we're off, the Islanders are going to play two more times. They play tomorrow, so but then while we're off, they're going to play two more times. So by the time we start playing again, we could be way behind again, but we're going to have a shit ton of games in hand. But then the Sabres have games in hand on us. So just keep winning. Just keep winning. Get Duke back. Stay healthy for crying out loud. Stay healthy. Could can we please, for the last 16 games, have our roster on the ice? What else did we see tonight? That sums it up. That sums it up. I am spent already from this season. I'm here. I'm good to go. I'm, I'll be, this team makes the playoffs, believe me. It'll be like four mils of testosterone injected into my ass. That hurts, too. If any of you ever had testosterone injections, you know. But if they don't make the playoffs, if this team doesn't make the playoffs, I could easily say that this has been the most exhausting, frustrating, mentally debilitating season this team has ever put me through including the years I wasn't doing the videos. Because this has just been... I mean, tonight was the perfect was the perfect game. Just look horrible, look okay, and then just pull it out at the very end. And if that's how our season goes, or we pull it out at the very end, we might be happy at the end. So, all right. Stu and I will be back in the morning. Thank you all for coming out to the live stream. Thank you all for the super chats. And I mean that. I mean, I know I say it all the time, but i got to reiterate. And this, this is not a complaint. People sometimes think I'm complaining. I'm just being honest. If it wasn't for the super chats, I would not be able to do this. I would have to go get a job. I would not be able to do this. Flat out. So, y'all in the comments, make sure you thank the people that are giving the super chats. Because they're paying my bills, which is what allows me to spend all this time and do the reviews with Stu and do the podcast and, and all of that. The super chats and the people, the members and the, the Patreon supporters, it all adds up to that's the only reason I can do this. Because the ad revenue that YouTube gives me is, I I, I, I couldn't you I could maybe pay for the dog's CBD oil with the actual ad revenue from YouTube. So thank you. That's 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 from the heart. So um, I know uh, there's a lot of new members. So I wanted to thank you guys for that podcast Monday through Friday, it's 45 minutes to an hour long, depending on how things go. So if you're if you became a new member tonight, because I know eyes on the on the uh, streams and a few other people, when we win, they gift people memberships. We get a lot of new people. Um, I really appreciate that. I notice that a lot of you are when the script when the gift membership runs out, a lot of people are staying. So that must mean you're enjoying the content. And what's I mean what's what's not to like? What's not to like? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll see y'all in the morning. Stu is rocking and rolling. He's ready to go. 
what a what a range of emotions this one was. I am I am wiped the hell out from this game. I hope the Panthers aren't, because they they need to get it. They need to get it up tomorrow. Like remember when you was eighteen and you could get it up like two three times in a night. Panthers need to take uh, need to take a page from the youth. They're still young though. Yeah, they're still young. They'll be good. Two points.